In today's video, I have a stack of Criterion films to recommend to you. These are all ones that I've watched recently, and these are all available both in the US and in the UK from Criterion. So hopefully, no matter where you're watching from, you should be able to get your hands on these. I'll include some links to purchase these in the description box below, which helps support the channel. So please feel free to use those if you wish. But for now, let's get on to talking about the films. So first we have Down By Law. This is Jim Jarmusch's second film starring John Lurie, Tom Waits and Roberto Benigni in this prison escape comedy noir. It's quite hard to categorise but this is definitely a Jim Jarmusch film. It has his usual style of people just hanging out, having conversations, but it's also shot by the brilliant Robbie Mueller in stunning black and white, and it's just a really fun film. There's also some brilliant special features on here. There's an interview with Robbie Mueller. There is a Cannes Film Festival press conference on here, and there's some other stuff. So for the fans of Jarmusch, you probably already have this. But please do give this one a try. It's probably quite a good entry point for the director as well. So if you're not familiar with his work, then this is one to try. Next up, this is a classic. It's Summertime from David Lean, starring Catherine Hepburn. Now, David Lean is a director you might know from some of his epic movies like Lawrence of Arabia and Bridge on the River Kwai or Dr. Zhivago, or maybe from some of his early movies like Brief Encounter. Well, Summertime is more in line with something like Brief Encounter. This is a romance story, but what's quite interesting about this and very unusual for the time is it was shot almost entirely on location in Venice, so it's a beautiful film to look at. Brilliant use of Technicolor here. And it has such a real authentic feel to it because of this use of location. Even though David Lean made so many brilliant movies, this was his personal favourite, the one he enjoyed the most. And to be honest, it might be the one that I enjoy the most, even though Lawrence of Arabia is this epic masterpiece. I always come back to this one. There's a few interviews on the special features here, but what's most important to note is that the 4K restoration used on the Blu-ray really does look brilliant. So please do give this one a shot if you get the chance to. Next up we have Scorsese Shorts. These are all short films from the filmmaker Martin Scorsese. These are from the 60s and the 70s, and it really shows how he began his journey in filmmaking. There's a good mixture of documentary and fiction, and it would really show where Scorsese would go on to later in his career. The highlight on here for me is Italian American, where Scorsese uses his family in this documentary style filmmaking, and it's just brilliantly done. And you could tell just from that, that this is a great filmmaker who's going to have such a great career. And there's also some good special features on here, including an interesting discussion between Ari Aster and the Safdie brothers talking about their appreciation for Martin Scorsese. So this is an essential one for any Scorsese fan. Now we have One Night in Miami. This is the directorial debut of actor Regina King. And this is quite an interesting film. This is an adaptation of a stage play where it features these four historical figures. You've got Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, and Sam Cooke. And I thought at first that this was like a fictional meeting of these four men. But no, it turns out that they did actually meet one night in a motel room to discuss life and society. And obviously there is poetic license taken here because no one knows what actually was spoken about in that room. But you can imagine that this is kind of how these four guys would have interacted. The main thing to note about this film is those four performances. And I think they are really good performances. I think that perhaps at times the direction is lacking a bit. Mainly because this is based on a stage play. And at times it does feel very stagey. But I do think in this there were some opportunities where the direction could have elevated the material... Uh, that weren't quite taken. So that's one of my only negatives to say about this film, but for the performances alone, 
I think this is one well worth checking out. This next film is a film I absolutely love. It's Devi from Satyajit Rai, the master Indian filmmaker who has brought so many brilliant films to my life that I just enjoy over and over again. This is one of them. The story is set in the 19th century. We follow this young woman whose husband has gone off to study and she has been left to live at home with her father-in-law. The father-in-law convinces his daughter-in-law that she is a goddess. And at first she doesn't quite believe this, but then she gets wrapped up in this. And that is where all of the drama ensues from. It's just such a well-told story. Brilliant cinematography on this as well. And the 4K digital restoration looks beautiful on the Blu-ray. So please do seek this one out if it sounds like something you'd enjoy. And now let's talk about Book and the Preacher. This is the directorial debut from Sidney Poitier, who also stars in this film, opposite Harry Belafonte. Both tremendous actors who have sadly passed away in recent times. And I think that is a reason to revisit this gem that I think for a long time had been forgotten about. Then Criterion released it on this Blu-ray, and that's how I discovered this film. And what a great discovery it is. This is why I love Criterion and the other boutique Blu-ray labels, because they're so good at introducing lost films to myself and people in the community, and it gives these films a new lease of life. This is a Western movie, but something that was quite rare in the history of Western movies is having black heroes at the centre of the story. Now, a lot of people would think, watching all the classic American Westerns, that there weren't these black cowboys, but it turns out that's not true. Historically, there were actually a lot of African-American cowboys, and this is a great telling of that kind of story. I won't give much away about the plot, so please do just seek this out if you're a fan of Westerns. The Criterion disc is from a 4K restoration. It looks beautiful, and there is extra special features on here which can help give a bit of context about this film, when it was made, the difficulties that were encountered because notably the stars of this film didn't quite get on with each other. So they had to reconcile to make this film and I'm so glad that they did. So that's a look at some Criterion films that I have been enjoying lately. If you enjoyed this video and want more Criterion recommendations, then just click the video that's on screen right now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.